Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, I just checked on to the meat birds, and actually, they have been here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days. They're doing great. I have not lost any, and uh, I'm pretty sure the reason I lost some is because during the shipping, they are shipped out for about three days. They're born. They're not fed. They're not watered. And then I got the call at 8.30 in the morning. I instantly went and picked them up and got them up on the heat, got them the food, I got them some water, dipped their knit beets into the water so they'll go ahead and know where the water's at and go ahead and drink, kind of trains them to go ahead and drink. Once they get a taste of that water, they're on. So let's take a look at the meat birds. So they're on day five. I just upgraded them to a bigger dish there. They seem to be doing fine with the uh, little one. That's about that size, except it's made for feed. And uh, I noticed they are eating a little bit more, which is great. And so I figured that it was just time to go ahead and upgrade to that dish there. Um, so they can just get all the way around it. Whoops, the one got stuck, but he got out, or she got out. Anyways, I just want to give you an update to the little black one is uh is not a meat bird and i believe it's a rock black rock or something like that i got two more coming in and so that's just going to be a hen layer and uh they're growing like a weed now and it won't be long they'll i'll definitely have to move them into something bigger than this which i'm working on at the moment so thank you so much for watching stay with me on this journey on how these birds do um, I believe they're going to do excellent, but I want to take you and show you the progress as they grow because this is a new experience for me as sure as I, I am sure <laughs> that there's some out there that have never had any meat birds too and you've thought about it, but you want to see what somebody else's experience is like, especially with those who have never done this before. I said in another video that we've had uh, yard birds, what they call just regular chickens. I was raised up, they call them yard birds. And just regular chickens and but now with the society and time we live in we have the option of purchasing meat birds well last year I heard that it was hard to get a hold of the meat birds so I really wasn't expecting it last year was not a good time for me so I decided this year to see if I can get some meat birds and and there was no problem getting the meat birds but yeah they're they're five days here onto the homestead and so I'm really looking forward to this experience myself to see how it how they grow see how fast they grow how much food they do eat they say they eat a lot of food and that really is you know it, they eat a lot of food but i'm looking forward to moving them also into the chicken tractor when they get to that stage um, i'm also going to bump this light down i went to go look and see if i had a hundred watt because it's warm out here it's, it's pretty much hot outside if i can say it like that and you stand into the sun and just get just about burnt so I can I know the temperature is about 70 at least 70 so degrees it feels hotter than that actually in the sun and uh, me right now it feels like it's about 75 but you know, with the temperature I want to go ahead and bump that light down it is a, uh, a grow light a, um, a heat lamp if I can say it like that and so I want to bump it down just a little bit and I keep checking on to them. I move the light a little bit just to make sure that they're not getting too hot because of the temperature that's outside. So when I went to see if I had a 100 watt uh, light bulb, which I did, but when I looked at the box, it said big bold letters, 100 watt, but into the little writing, it was actually a 72 watt. I don't want to bump them down to 72 right now. That's I don't think that's going to be warm enough. Now, we've got some cold spell coming in. I think it's starting tomorrow or the next day. Definitely by the weekend. So, when we have this cold spell coming in, I would definitely keep this lamp on them. Make sure that they stay warm because this time I'm not keeping the chicks inside the house. I usually always keep them inside the house till they get to a certain age. When they get there, I usually, when the time they start getting their feathers on them good. And they get to stinking. Once they start stinking, I was like, you got to go, you know, y'all got to get outside. So I ended up moving them out in the shed. They're at that age. I know they're going to be okay. I, you know, the weather's okay. And I also protect them by either putting hardware wire on the top to make sure nothing can get to them like snakes or rats or anything like that. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and remember 
to make it a great day. God bless you. And if you have any comments, please list the comment below. Um, yeah, looking forward to hear from you.